Hi there, welcome to my video. In this video we're going to upload an image to an S3 bucket. It can be any file really, but I'm going to use an image as an example. In a previous video we've set up the bucket. We've also uploaded a file privately. A user made a request to do this uh, so that the image is public um, immediately upon upload. So I, I've included this repo in the, in the comments. This is the exact script I'll be using. I also have um, steps on how to actually set up the repository and such. First we'll have to update the our user's permissions. So head over to the IAM head over to the IAM uh, user area. So it's under services. Mine's under recent here, but it's, it's under security I, IAM. And then you can as you can see I have already have an inline policy set up. And what I want to do is I want to change this policy. So edit policy. I have a list all buck my buckets put object put that. I just want to add the the put and get ACL. Validate it and hit save. So our policy is now up 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 to date. Right, we have our bucket here. So now we're going to use the following code. Open up a text editor. I, those are my passwords for this that user. Create a new file. Didn't really want to bring up everything on my desktop. Um, hit save. So I just pay, copied and pasted. So what's changed compared to the two ones? So now we've actually um, here public read is so this ACL object. If you look at the other one. Yeah, example .py, which is just the upload privately. You'll just see that it's just the body and the key that are being added when you're putting the object, compared to this one where it's uh, put object and then you're doing the ACL public read. So I'm gonna take my um, access key, access secret key, put it there. I've deleted these probably by the time I post this video, so it doesn't really matter that it's public. Um, grab my bucket name. And put my bucket name in here. And the file, as you can see, my file name is it's right there actually, but it's there too. So now I'm going to open up a command line, a terminal, jump into my desktop, and run Python. Uh, this is called demo.py. You're required to have uh, Bodo installed, Bodo 3. As you can see in the libraries, that's what I'm using. So there, it should be uploaded. Refresh this page. There it is. So there's the file there. And the file has a specific link. And it should be public instead of the private as of before. And it downloads, so don't know if I can. Oh, it downloads every single time. All right. so. As you can see, it's properly been uploaded. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you're a little lost, there's some other videos to help you.